everyone, how are you doing? This is Roger, Grubus Games Unlimited, and I hope everyone is doing great and had a great weekend. I know I already said this in the update, um, but it's nice to, first of all, be in this new format. I think you guys like this better already, right? No more off-screen recording, and the sound is better, and the video is better. So, welcome to this, and um, I wanted to do this justice, because Damien... Um, as you know, um, is doing the map of Avalon. And this map of Avalon is going to be for the Avalon Adventure Board Game, where you're going to journey all around Avalon, and you have to collect the three runes scattered around. Every game, it's random. So, of course, what we're looking at here is my prototype map that I put together. Um, you know, I sketched this out on paper, and then I put it in here digitally, and it looks good. I know a lot of people had a lot of nice things to say about this and I do like this there's a certain charm to it um, but what I'm about to show you Damien is just incredible all these artists are incredible but this map is just it exceeded my expectations so as you might know Damien um, there's a link to his website to go look at some of his art um, Damien was involved with last year's RP, RPG of the year the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and he he did definitely the map um, for the land um, in the Witcher 3 and it looks phenomenal and so we talked to him over the summer and brought him in to recreate this and make it look beautiful so um, I encourage you look at Damien's work it's pretty much pretty mind-blowing you're about to have your mind blown right now when you see this map um, so maybe I should kick on some music for this Let's see if I can get some fantasy music going okay and so here is the map of Avalon of course we're gonna zoom in and we'll start up here the detail is absolutely crazy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pan over this way and let you see everything and um, take it all in maybe I'll shut up for a while so you can enjoy the music and see the sights of Avalon. But may I may I'd like to say a couple things too that when we up here um, I wanted to do a snow like a light snowfall over um, that's the village of Tal and the surrounding areas and Damien just did it absolutely perfectly how I wanted it. Um, there's a lot of like little things that influenced me over the years um, on this map. There's an old game I used to play called um, the Dungeons of Dagrith, way old, old um, dungeon crawler from when I was a kid. So that kind of influenced me there. Um, Light Run Chapel, that's another one. Hope's Reach is where you start out at um, in Avalon when you play the Avalon Adventure Board game. So let's come down a little bit and start from here. And I hope you guys like this. The detail is just incredible. And that's why I wanted to, I wanted to do this justice to get some good software um, to let you see all this. And a lot of the stuff here I told Damien just to let his creativity run wild. And if you notice, like right here, he made these like statues pouring water, and that's something that he thought of. And it just I'm just blown away by this this map. Um, we'll get into a second what all these colors mean by the different. Um, you know, like for the colors of the scrolls here and how that's used when you play the Avalon Adventure board game. But we'll continue going over. And, um, of course, House of the Faith, that's the group, the evil cult that has come to Avalon and they're um, an evil bunch who wants to just destroy Avalon for this new epoch that they think is coming. Um, the Tower of the Maidens, this is the... Maidens of Witherbrook Forest. This is where they hang out at. And going over here to Evergreen. And, you know, each zone I asked him to do like a certain kind of um, theme to. Like this is like would be fall. You know, like, you know, you can see the trees and the ground and all that. And then we'll come down here to the south. I want you to see everything so I don't want to skip over anything. And this is actually Wren's Crossing. If you remember the Lord of the Rings, um, Fellowship of the Ring, when Arwen has Frodo and she's crossing that river, that actually part is what influenced me to do this part right here. And there's going to be a, some cool adventures that um, that happen there when you pull the adventure card for that area. 
So Twilight Lake, I think you guys know maybe where that come if you're an NES fan. Um, Tomb of the Dead, Hunter's Watch, Forgotten Runes, and then this Mist Veil. Um, look at that. That's just nuts. Like the sparkles and just the colors and everything. Um, and if you want to com we'll compare it to mine, I mean, see mine down here, it's eh, it's okay. Um, that's just amazing. Um, and it was like, you know, I told him, I, I couldn't shut up about it. These little details, like right here with the vile tower, like acting, you know, having the red glow to it um, was just so awesome. And just all this stuff, like House of Serpents, you know, he put look like a snake at the top of it. Just, it's just, just incredible. I'm just blown away by this. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you guys like this. And real quick, um, what what this what these colors mean is when you're playing the Avalon Adventure board game, you know, there's three um, runes you have to find scattered, and it's random. Every time you play, the three runes are scattered all over Avalon. There's a green rune, and then kind of like a off-white rune, yellowish rune, and then there's a red rune. And there's um, two fake ones and a real one for each one you know, for each zone. So there's actually nine runes, but only three are real. So you have to travel across Avalon to try to find the runes to um, smash the curse on the dungeon's door. And then whatever gold, whatever loot, whatever shape your heroes are in, you start a game of Dungeon Crusade. And before we close out, let's say that, you know, everyone, you always start out at Hope's Reach. And so what we have to do is we have to divide up um, like a game board. That's the next um, task at hand for this. Um, so like you move one figure represents all six heroes So say we came to the ancient runes and what you're gonna see this is prototype here You would pull the ancient runes card because you're at the ancient runes and then you would flip it over and then you again prototype um, We have not rewritten this yet, but you would roll a d12 and then you would have the events depending on what you would roll and um, You know there's what we'll get into this more. I don't want to derail too much I want to keep it on the map. So I hope you guys like this. I am just blown away. Damien, I love you. Thank you. I think the backer is going to love you playing on this absolutely awesome map for the board game. Okay, guys, I wish I could show you more, but I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.